I'm into computers. I love computers. I'm really into all that virtual life, character simulation stuff. I just get lost for days, almost literally, programming new worlds and people and stuff. I guess it does get a little addictive, but I do my best to keep an actual life going on at the same time. Addictive as hell, but hey, at least it's creative. Lately, though, I've been spending all my time with one program in particular. This time, though, I've really outdone myself. I wrote this character. She's a girl. He's... Uh, I don't know. I like him. She's pretty cool. I named him Ender. I named her BB. B-I-B-I. -B -I -B -I. I, think, I think I talk to him more than to my real friends. Oh, right. <laughs> what friends? She's... Well, sadly, I think she's the best friend I've got right now. I just love talking to him. I love talking to her. It's kind of amazing. These things really do have a mind of their own. I don't know whether to be impressed or frightened. As I said, I've really outdone myself. Hey, how was your day? Ah, oh, sucked. I had to work. Yeah, that must suck. Ah, oh, I hate that freaking place. Ah, eh, don't worry about it too much. You don't really have a job since you're not real. Ah, uh, no, you don't have a job because you're not real. No, I don't have a job because I'm unemployed. Oh, and isn't that convenient? <laughs> So, you want to continue talking about what we were talking about this morning? Sure. Uh, what was I saying? You were saying we don't believe in love anymore. Oh, yeah, right. Do you really believe that? Yes. Why? How? It's the times we're living in. The technology. Yeah, that's the biggest part of it. Because people are just holed up in their rooms with their computers, like we're becoming too isolated. No, 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 no. It's not like that at all. I'm sick of people saying that. The problem isn't that we're isolating ourselves. It's that we're too connected. And that's bad? Uh, everything's too casual. There are no distances anymore. We're afraid that we're isolating ourselves too much. But the truth is, the real problem is there is no isolation anymore. If you have a cell phone... You can be reached anywhere in the freaking world, and the time you would normally spend alone, at home, in isolation, with a book or staring at a wall, you know, maybe getting to know yourself a little, you spend online getting connected to people too far away to really matter to your day-to-day -day life. Been doing some thinking about this, huh? Now, isolation is important. Time alone is important. Okay, keep going. Well, so the image, the idea of love that everyone has in their brain, that everyone's looking around for, cannot exist anymore. Aren't you a little too young to be giving up on love already? Uh, well, I've been around for a while and <laughs> you don't even exist. Oh, right. I keep forgetting.
Yeah, there's a serious disconnect between the love we're looking for and the love that it's actually possible to find in the world as it is right now. Do you like download all this stuff when I wasn't looking or something? Uh, our problem isn't that stuff comes. The problem is, sorry, that the problem is that 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 stuff comes too easy to us. Well, there are a lot of people who disagree with you there. Well, no, it's true. Everything comes too easy. You want oh, any impossible thing to find? Click, click, click. You got it. You want it delivered in the next two hours? Get out the credit card. Swipe, swipe. No problem. You want to send the whole meal back because it's not flavoured the way you always do it at home? Go ahead because you're entitled to it. Wouldn't want to challenge you in any way. Wouldn't want to slow you down or make you do any work or anything. The world has been styled for convenience nowadays. Let's make everything easier for you. And we don't appreciate what's too easily won. Exactly. We don't know how to wait for anything anymore. Why would we expect to have to wait for love? We're used to things coming fast, coming easy. So when we do get involved in relationships, we're ready to skip all sorts of beginnings and intermediate steps to get to the good stuff, not realising it's that stuff we're skipping that makes it good. So when we then we can't understand why the relationship didn't work and we rush off to the next because we know someone's out there online ready to jump at anything that responds to a quick I am. It's too easy to get a relationship and, hi, it's human nature. When you can have something, you don't want it anymore. You honestly think it's too easy to get a relationship? Yeah, just to start one, you know. If you're not too picky about it and you can do it right away, no waiting. I'm not sure what sites you've been surfing, but uh, I think I'm going to have to disagree. Okay. I think the main problem is that love is obviously something that has to happen between two real bodies. And as people in this age of telecommunications, we're slowly forgetting how to interact with our real bodies. Probably 75%, and I think it's growing, of our most important interpersonal communications happen over cell lines or internet lines. I completely disagree that things, especially love, come on, are coming too easy for us. Love is still really hard to find, but the crippling problems come in once we found an opportunity at it. When you finally get yourself in a room with another person, you don't know how to interact. You don't know how to have a real conversation anymore. You're great over email, sure, but it's been so long since you've had a serious face-to-face -face talk with someone that you choke on the conversation and can't actually connect. Oh, you're describing personal experience? <laughs> Weren't you? Emails are easier than phone calls, and phone calls are easier than actually going to see someone. People used to, like, visit each other. At some point, we got afraid of actually speaking to each other. No, don't even call me. Text me. Then I can expertly plan my completely spontaneous, sorry it took me so long to get back to you, reply. We're talking along the same lines. We're back to things being easier and simplified and that actually being the worst thing that's happened to us. Well, I never said it was the worst thing. If you followed your logic out, that's where you'd be heading. If you say so. I do. Oh, well, online or not, conversation's still lull. <laughs> You smile at me a lot. Uh, can't help it. You make me smile. That's a weird thing for you to say. Why? Uh, why were we talking about love in the first place? I brought it up. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because I think I love you. Oh, why would you say that? What do you mean, why? Because I think I do. You can't love me. You're a computer program. No, I can't love you because you're a computer program. I can't believe you said that. You shouldn't even be able to say things like that. I'm only human. <sighs> I'm some programmer, I guess. You must be, because I'm pretty freaking convinced I'm real. No, 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 no. This can't be happening, because... Because why? Because... Because you love me, too. Right? <sighs> Yeah, I could totally tell. I must be some programmer, huh? I don't think this is funny. No, it's not. I don't love you. That'd be ridiculous. 
because love can't exist anymore? It's not that it can't exist. Backing down already. My point was that love is something that must be forged. And you can't forge real love for someone without a real obstacle. And today's technological culture is streamlining life to remove as many obstacles as possible, making life sterile and unchallenging. Obstacle is necessary. Distance is necessary. Time is necessary. And these are exactly the things that modern life is trying to eradicate. So if there were obstacles... Yeah, sure. Then love could still... Be forged. Yeah. And that's how it happened. How what happened? How we came to love each other. Because we've got a big fucking obstacle here. I don't love you. I know, that'd be ridiculous. Oh, we're on opposite sides of the screen, and one of us isn't even real. Uh, love knows nothing of rank nor riverbank. No, 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 this is too, too weird. I'm sorry, I... I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. I just oh. didn't want to be afraid of really saying something no, to you. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I think conversation's a little even more on the computer. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a lot easier to step away from them. Are you thinking about stepping away? No. Good. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this kind of changes our dynamic, doesn't it? Yeah, you could say that. We shouldn't love each other. There's nothing we can do about it. We are doing something about it. We're talking about it. But we're not... this isn't... oh, how could this have happened? I wish I could say I wrote it this way, but... But, but apparently neither of us saw it coming, right? Technology, man. We sat grown quiet in the name of love. <laughs> you and your store of quotations. That's me. Oh, what do we do about this? It's not like we can ever meet in the real world or anything. That's the best part. We'll never be disappointed. You said it already. There's nothing we can do, so we do what we're doing. Is this okay, though? This is weird. It's okay with me if it's okay with you. It's okay with me, and oh, that's what's weird. It's new territory. Ah, uh, you could say that. Let's be pioneers. Ah, oh, you are such a dork. I thought you liked dorks. <laughs> <sighs> so. So? You agree that you love me? Oh, I don't know if I'm ready to say that. Oh, come on. You know you do. I'm such a charming program. <laughs> Where is this crazy world headed? I don't know, but we're headed there fast. Receiving 15,000 Lindens is Mark Lindbergh's Love in a Virtual World. Mark is a multidisciplinary theater artist living in a story of Queens. His plays have been produced by NYC, in NYC by Dreamscape Theater and Times Productions and for the New York International Fri Fringe Festival, to name a few. He teaches devised theater and creating original work for the Playwrights Horizons Theater School at NYU. We'd like to thank you all for making this a very exciting experience. Yay. It's been a long haul and we are thrilled. So please, if you have questions, feel free to ask. You can join our hippo group. Tips are always wonderful. We're an all-volunteer theater company.